Hi, this is History with Andrew Allen, and today is the introduction to my series on the Cathar Crusade. I originally intended this to be an epilogue to my series The Devil's Brood, the formation of the English Kingdom from the Anarchy to the Magna Carta, a single episode to explain what was happening in France while John was squeezing England for the silver to pay for an army to retake his family's lands in France. Then... I started researching the subject and realized that it was much too important to be a mere epilogue. Okay, I understand. Why should you be interested in a crusade against the Cathars who no longer exist? Well, the crusade was the final stage in the transformation of the church from a loosely connected network of local preachers with their own interpretations of the teachings of the carpenter from Nazareth to a central authority that did not permit any deviation from its dogma. In addition, the crusade is why the region of Toulouse is part of southern France and not independent, or part of northern Spain. Who were the Cathars, you ask? The Cathars were a non-violent, repeat, non-violent people who followed a dualist explanation of the world, where the physical world had been created by an evil god of darkness, while the spiritual world had been created by his rival, the good god of light. The evil god for souls to be recreated to prevent them from reaching the spiritual world. While they believed in Christ, they claimed that his spirit had returned to heaven, but his body did not rise. Basically, their goal was to reject the physical world in order to be reconnected with their souls, ending the cycle of reincarnation. So, what exactly is the Cathar Crusade? The crusade lasted from 1209 to 1229 after Pope Innocent III seized a flimsy excuse to declare the Cathars heretics. The crusade would give the French king the legal excuse to occupy a neighboring region with its own culture and language that was far more connected to the northern kingdoms of Spain. Speaking of Spain, a key event during the crusade was the Battle of Mure, a massive crusader victory that crushed Spanish ambitions in the region. While the crusade ended officially in 1229, the last large group of Cathars were burned after their refuge at Montsegur fell in 1244 following an epic siege of months. Also, the crusade resulted in the creation of the Papal Inquisition, where the Dominicans were given unlimited authority to root out heresy across Europe through forced confessions and monetary rewards for informants, thus creating the first secret police. Okay, I hope that this introduction explained the importance of the Cathar Crusade. I will discuss the initial struggle between the papacy and the more independent-minded preachers that took place before the crusade, in episode one. Thanks for listening.